Good morning, friends. Uh, you've probably gotten used to seeing this kind of screen um, over the last year as we've we've been doing Zoom things and and meeting with groups and maybe you've even gotten together with friends this way. Um, however, you have. Um, I wanted to to kind of actually bring some attention to that today uh, and and read from uh, just a little part of Romans that we might always skip over. And it's it's uh, the last part of the greeting, and it says this: it says. To those in Rome who are dearly, dearly loved by God and called to be God's people, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I wanted to share that with you uh, on a Zoom screen today. Um, because when we read Paul's letter to the Romans, or any of Paul's letters, we, we see something really special. We see Paul using a piece of technology of the day, right? Writing on a piece of paper with, with, with pen or quill or whatever it was he used um, as, a, as a way of communicating to the church. And we don't think about that as technology, but it really is technology, right? There was, there was a time when having access to pen and paper wasn't that common. Uh, and, and so having that technology meant a lot because it allowed Paul to communicate to the, the people of Rome or to the people of Corinth or Ephesus or wherever it was he was writing. And today we have, we have Zoom and we have Zoom where we can share screens and we can chat and we can do uh, all sorts of different things. We can even play videos uh, for Bible studies and book studies and video studies over Zoom uh, or, or Google Meets or whatever it is that you're using. Uh, and, and why does that matter? Because it allows us to be the church in a, in a different way. It allows us to do ministry in a different way. You've probably heard from the beginning of the, the pandemic that church isn't closed. Church isn't off. It's just being done differently for a time. And admittedly, that different is not something we're familiar with. It's not comfortable. And to some degree, it's not always a great substitute. But yet somehow we're able to use technology like Zoom or YouTube or Facebook or whatever other platforms we have access to, to do some really incredible ministry, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, to share the love of God, the forgiveness and the grace of Almighty and all-loving God. That hasn't stopped. And what's amazed me is in that time, our church, Grand Blank United Methodist Church, but also probably your church, has actually grown a bit. We've reached new people. You know, I was looking at our worship attendance for Grand Blank United Methodist Church, and because we are able to, to reach so many more people using our virtual services, our attendance at worship using virtual means has nearly doubled our in-person attendance before the pandemic. Somehow opening the, the walls of the church has, has done something for us. Now we can't wait to be able to be back together in person, but we don't also want to lose what we've created here. And so as we remember Paul writing the dearly beloved people of God in Rome. We give thanks for the technology like Zoom that allows us to be able to reach new people and do new things, and celebrate new things. And so as you watch this today on YouTube or as you watch it through your Facebook or whatever it is you find yourself doing to watch this, give thanks. Give thanks that we have technology that we are able to do amazing things with. And let us continue to change the world and change lives and reach new people, just as Paul did when he wrote these letters. Amen. Oh,